Uh, hello, this is Pi 5 Squared Snake or Pi V Squared Snake uh, by Tolarak. It is another one of those Pi Snake puzzles. I think it's the one I'm going to be posting uh, after the one I just solved. Uh, there's also a third one, which is I think a Fog of War puzzle, but that will come like a bit later. So yeah, okay, right now we have normal pseudo crews apply. So digits 1 to 9 in every row, every column, and every 3x3 box. Digits along indicated diagonals sum to the totals given. So this arrow points at these three cells, meaning that uh, they must sum to this 15 here. These must sum to 15, and these must sum to 6. Uh, okay. Digits separated by a V sum to 5. So these sum to 5, these sum to 5, these sum to 5. Uh, and so on. So it could be like uh, 1 for 1, something like that. Uh, and it says here that all V clues are given. So nowhere else can digit sum to 5. So something like this, that's not valid because there's no V clue to join them together. Draw a 25 cell long, 1 cell wide snake, which, which could look like, you know, it could look like this. Uh, and the snake would be, let me use the regular colors again. Oh no, where are my colors? Okay, you know what, it's fine. We'll use we'll use this. We'll use blue and pink as per usual. Uh sorry. So draw a 25 cell long one cell white snake. So this is a snake. It has to be 25 cells long. Uh of orthogonally connected cells that does not branch or touch itself. So something like this, not allowed. Something like this, not allowed. Uh the snake contains the first 25 digits of pi in the correct order going from head to tail. So your snake must have pi in it. So you know, like the digits of pi in this order doesn't work right now, but generally uh, <laughs> generally, you need to have this pattern or this snake somewhere in the grid. It has to exist. And those are the rules. So with that, let us begin solving. Okay, before actually looking at the grid first, I want to say something about the uh, pi itself, and uh, you might notice in the string of pi here, as it has been said, there are actually a lot of separate strings that form palindromes. So here you have a 141, here you have a 535, uh, 979, uh, 323, and so on and so forth. Uh, and it's explained in a couple, uh, it was explained in the previous video, but the only way to uh, fulfill these conditions is if there is something that I call a diagonal border jump. So it would force digits to, you know, jump across a border to be next to itself. And and like you can explain this by saying, well, if there was a one here, how could the next one be fulfilled? Like let's say in the one for one. And the only way to do that is it can't go in anywhere that would push its one into the same box. It can't go in a straight line, and therefore it must bend in some way. But it can't bend and stay in the same box, so it must bend and cross a, a, a dark line like this so it stays in another box. Meaning that no matter what you do, no matter what direction it is, you'll always get the same digit diagonally adjacent to the original one. And this, this is true for every uh, sort of 3 cell long sequence of palindromic numbers. Right, so that is uh, one rule of, of, of the pie snake. Uh, the other... Th okay, well, I guess we can start actually solving the puzzle now. Because this 6 is very constrained. The smallest you can put these 3 digits is uh, 1, 3, and... Uh, 1, 2, and 3. Which just happens to sum to 6, so these must be 1, 2, and 3. Uh, 5 itself... 5 itself has only 2 ways of being fulfilled. It can be fulfilled with 1, 4, and 2, 3. So I guess in some way I could just have all these be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Right? Should I do that? It's very pencil marky, but. Uh, okay, let's try this one first. This one has to be uh, 2, 3, or 4 to fulfill this as a 5. And then this would have to be uh, 1, 2, or 3 to, uh, to make this a 5. Do these interact with each other? Uh, 
Oh, I see. Because this is a 1, 2, 3 pair, this can't be 2 or 3. So that's just 4. That makes this a 1 and this a 1. Hmm, this is a very prime candidate for the 3.141 uh, chain, but I can't prove that yet. Okay. So none of these are 1s. That's good. Uh, so yeah, so this this can't see have this can't have one, and therefore must be the two three pair. This must therefore be a one four pair, making this a one or a four as well. Uh, this is also this actually also looks very interesting. Well, no, this one is also <laughs> this one is what we should look at because it can't have a one in it, so it must be two three. Uh, so it forms it forms a few more pairs here. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, what else can we see? Well, let's do a little bit of colouring. These two cannot be the same set, because whatever is in these cells cannot be in that cell. So we can, in, in essence, say that these are two different sets, uh, which I will colour orange and green. Whoa. So these are two different sets. And we can also say here that these are two different sets. That must be green, because this is part of the green set. And therefore this cannot be green, because you can't have three green digits here. Uh, the greens are part of a pair only, so you can have three of them. Which then affects this and makes this a... something like that. Okay... What now though? Maybe I look at this 15 diagonal here. Because a 1 here would significantly restrict those. In fact, a 4 would, might also do that. Because if it was a 4, then these would have to sum to 11, which can only be done with 5 and 6, right? Because you can't use 1, 2, 3, or 4. But if this was a 1, these would sum to 14, which could be 6, 8, or 5, 9. Hmm. Okay. Well, and then this one looks pretty... Uh, pretty constrained as well because that's uh, 7, 8 or 6, 9 so with those clues alone oh I see this 1 sees those cells so those can't be 1, 4 and therefore must be 2, 3 uh, and these cells are therefore 1, 4 so I think I can now remove the colours from here because uh, we've already distinguished which pairs are which uh, and in fact these form a lot more pairs. Although I don't think this disambiguates things in any way. Ah, so where does 4 go in this box? Uh, because this 4 sees that, this 1 4 pair sees those, and this 1 4 pair sees those, we'd have these two cells, but we know that all V clues are given, so 4 can't be there, otherwise there would have been a V here. So 4 can't go there and therefore 4 is in this cell. And uh, I think we can say where 4 goes in this box, which must be there, because of, um, you know, these 4 clues. Uh, mm -hmm. Where else would I find 4? Hmm, not, not elsewhere. Okay, it might be time to think about the snake then. Because we have 1s in a lot of places already. In fact, th these 1, 4 pairs see all those cells. That can't be 1, so 1 just goes there. Uh, that's another 1. Uh, okay. I don't think 1 sees anything else though. We can only place 3. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So it might be time to think about whether this is part of the snake or not. Because... Oh, it could also be here. This could also be where 1, 4, 1 is. I see, okay. Actually, I realized somewhere else in here there is a 323. Three. Oh, I see, yes. 141 one and 323 three must be touching the Vs. And because the reason why is if it were anywhere else, the 141 one would have to have a V on it because all V clues are given. Yes, so there cannot appear a 141 one anywhere else in the grid. So one of these are part of the snake. And I can do you one better by saying that this is where the 323 is, and it has to be, because wherever else you have, you cannot have 
323. Otherwise, you would have this, you know, elbow shape of Vs here. It's forced because all V clues are given. So this must be where 323 is, and therefore is part of the snake. And in fact, I can say that this is these are threes and that's two. Mm, indeed, very helpful. These are now no longer snake, therefore this cannot be part of the snake. Well, can it? It could touch itself diagonally, I think. So technically, you know, the four six, the 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 four six two six four could be could be here. So this is fine. Uh, but one of these are the one four one. Ah, but this can't be the one four one because one four one is directly attached with three. Although we have these two three pairs here, which cannot attach to any of these ones. So this can't be the 141 that's in our snake, and therefore just can't be snake itself. So this is where 141 is in the snake. And the reason why this can't be part of the snake is because... Well, it could. Again, you could always have this happen. That's fine. The Vs do not have to be part of the snake. So, you can't say this is not a snake. No, although yes, 1 does not appear anywhere else in this uh, chain of uh, Pi, which means that these are also not snake, because 1 is already in there. And in fact, we can say that this is definitely just 141. One. Now, 3 must directly attach to this one. We can say that's not snake because uh, snakes cannot touch themselves. And in fact, this also can't be snake. But 3 cannot attach to this one because, you know, 3 is already in the box here. So 3 goes there and is part of the snake. And it's actually in the start of the snake, so it cannot extend anymore. Uh, this diagonal now comes into play because we said if this was a 4, this must sum to 11. Without using 2, 3, or 4, they can only be 5 and 6. And this 1 must directly attach to a 5, because 3, 4, 1, 4, 1, 5. And it can only be there. It can't go this way, because this can't be a 5. There's already a 5, 6 pair. So the 1 goes this way, which makes this a 5. That's a 6. And this 1 must touch a 9, which has to go down. It can't go up and touch itself. So that's 9. And now this must be snake. Uh, after 2 is 6, so 2 can't go, yeah, so this must be 2 firstly, so that's 3, that's 3, that's 2. This 2 must now continue on to a 6 and can only do so by going downwards. Uh, and it can't go this way, otherwise it blocks itself in, so it must extend outwards this way. Uh, and so we can place a lot of digits that are not snake anymore. Those are all non-snake. Uh, this one has to be a 5. And this can't be the snake that is 3. Yes, so 5 must be next to a 3, which can't go here. So this must be where 3 is. And then 5 is in one of those cells. And yeah, here you notice a diagonal jump. We didn't use that in this puzzle yet. But yeah, you can notice that this is actually a uh, border jump. Okay, so what are these digits? Well, this digit is also, also not snake. But these digits are, I think, 7, 8, 9. And these digits are 7 and 8. Okay, this is also 7 or 8. So we have a lot so far. After that, 5 comes an 8 somewhere. Well, this is definitely not snake then, because we know it extends into one of these two directions. Sorry, not snake. So after the 5 comes an 8, but it could be it could be anywhere in any of these directions. Yeah, and after the 8 oh, after the 8 is a is a is a what 979, right? Yes, after this 5 is an 8, and after that 8 is a 979, which must perform a border jump. And in fact it can't go this way. Because if it went this way, the next digit here would have to be this cell which would then be a 9, which clashes with this. So it can't go this way. Uh, could it go this way? If this was an 8, yeah, then I guess you could do 9, 7, 9. That could be a border jump. If it went this way, then this would be an 8. Oh, that can't actually do a border jump, can it? After this 8, if this was an 8, the 9, 9 here can't border jump because, you know, it would just connect to here directly. Uh, 9 here can't bother jump either because it can't go back on itself and it can't bother jump towards a 2 and if it was a 9 here it also couldn't bother jump here because this is already a snake so I don't think it can go this way and therefore must go this way which then has to bother jump 
here because it can't bother jump upwards. If it went up, it can't go up either because there's already a 9 in the row. So it has to do this. It has to bother jump here. And after this, uh, 979 is in fact a 323. Three. So that works. 5, 8, 9, 7, 9. So these two digits are now... Well, that's not, that's not snake. I mean, a lot of these are not snake either. So those are not snake as well. Uh, these two cells are 7 and 6. After this, 3 is an 8. Which can't be here, because there's already an 8 here. So the 8 has to go there. Uh, and then... After that, 8 is a 4, 6. Well, the 4 can't be here because there's already a 1, 4 pair here. So the 4 must be in this set somewhere. But, uh, oh, well, I don't, I don't... Yeah, it could be like a 4, 6, 2, 6, 4, 3, right? So it can go back on itself. It could also keep going this way if it wanted to. I think. So, okay, let's think about it. If this was a 4, if it went this way, it could do that. And it could go 4, 6, 2, 6, 4, 3, and that would end nicely. If it went down this way though, I mean, where you say that's not snake? But if it went down this way, ah, that fails, right? Because a 6 here, after the 4, cannot bother jump at all. And a 6 here, after this 4, cannot bother jump either. So it actually can't go down this way and must go this way. Which we then know wherever the 6 is, has to be here so it can bother jump. It has to bother jump this way. And it has to continue to take the 4, and then continue to take the 3. So, the snake has to look like this. And that is the entire snake. Which means that everything else is not snake. So there you go, this is your 25 cell long snake. Which must continue 4, 6, 2, 6, 4. This 4 sees that cell and that cell, so those are both 1. These are both 4. Uh... Yeah, okay. What now? I think we just do regular Sudoku. This 9 sees that. Uh, this 6, 7 pair sees those, so those can't be 7, meaning 7 goes in there. Uh, 7 doesn't force anything in this box. But this cell must be a 5 now by the row. These cells must be 2 and 8, I think. And this 2, 3 pair sees that, so that can't be 2. That's 8. That's 2. This is now a 6 to complete the box. To complete the column, here we have 7 and 9. Uh, that actually forces this to be either a 6 or an 8. Wait, no it doesn't. Yeah, yes it does, sorry. 7 goes with 8, 9 goes with 6, yes. Okay, well that wasn't a lot of help, but sure. 3 in this box, these 3s. Place a 3 there. Uh, oh, 3 in the corner. These 2s, now place a 2 there. These cells are 5, 6, and 8. Uh, oh, not much we can do there, that's 6. Yeah, okay. This 1, sorry, sees that, so that's 4, that's 1. Uh, I think we have all the ones now, except in this box, but one has to be here in this box by means of regular Sudoku. Those are 5, 7, and 9. This can't be a 5. So in this box, what are we missing? Nothing. Okay, sure. These cells are 5, 7, and 9 as well. Wow. Uh, this can't be 7... This can't be 5, and this could be anything. Okay, well, great deficiency there. Deficiency of digits, that is. Sorry, this 6 sees that. I didn't see this, but this is a 7, that's a 6. This 7 sees this and makes it a 9, which helps probably disambiguate a little bit. These two cells are 2 and... 2 and 9 to complete the column, and this 9 
places this uh, places a two there. That's nine. This two sees that. So that's three. That's two. That sees that, which is three. This is now two. Uh, that gives us a few more digits. Hmm. Does it? It should. Uh, these digits are four and eight to complete the column. This four here makes this an eight. That's a four. This eight sees that, so that's now six, which must be with a nine to make fifteen. That is no longer six. Uh, to complete the column here, five, six, and seven. This can be five or six. That's seven. Actually, in the row, it's just a seven as well. So yeah, uh, this can't. This can't be a six. So that is a five. That's a six. These are five, seven, eight. And the 5 sees that, so that's not 5. Uh, okay. So at this point, it's just something that I am not seeing. This cell is either 5, 6, 7, or 9. 5, 7, 8, or 9, sorry. And then this one is also 5, 7, 8, or 9, but can't be 7. So that's 5, 8, or 9. Uh, this 9 sees that. So, so in this box, 9 is one of these two cells which sees that, so that's not, sorry, so that's not 9. This 9 also sees that, so that's 7, that's 5, that's 8. This, or well, this is 6 to complete the box, making that a 9. Uh, this 7 sees that, so that's 5, that's 7, that's not 7, that's 8, that's 5, that's 9, that is 7, this 9 sees that, so that's 8, that's 9. This 7 sees that, so that's 7. Oh, sorry, that's 8. That's 7. This 8 sees that, so that's 7. Uh, the 5 sees that as well, so that's 8. And that is 5 to solve the puzzle. That <laughs> doesn't include solution. Okay, very nice. Solved. Uh, well, I mean, it doesn't really include a solution, but I can assume that I got the solution right because everything is in order. You have a snake that appears here. And... Uh, Hopefully there does not exist any pair here that sums to 5. I don't think so. Okay, so this was a nice puzzle. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you soon. Bye bye.